With all the uncertainty right now with our health and the economy, it's only natural that if you've been in the market to ask the question, is now a good time to buy a house? Well, the super short answer is that depends. Depends on what? Well, that's what this video is about and it's coming right up. Welcome, I'm glad you're back. I want to send out a big thank you to my subscribers. It's because of you I work hard to create videos with information you can use. If you're new here, my name is Andy Elliott. I work with DeSelms Real Estate here in Williamson County, Tennessee, and we serve the Nashville area. I invite you to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos as they come along. By the end of this video, you'll have a better idea whether or not it's a good time to buy a house. Promise. I'm simply amazed by what's happening in my business during the lockdown. Lockdown, quarantine, don't know what to call it. And we're hearing tragic numbers when it comes to the unemployment rate. And let me say I'm heartbroken for those that are struggling. I hate that. But at the same time, property inquiries are up, lead count is up, certainly contracts are up. Houses we've been trying to buy most of the time have multiple offers on them. If a house is priced right and it's in a good condition, they're not on the market very long. I spoke to my lender the other day and he said he's had near record numbers for two months in a row with refinances having to wait in line behind new purchases. That's just amazing. So why am I telling you all of this? Well, despite the pandemic, there's a lot of people that are ready, willing, and able to buy. And optimism is reflected in buying habits. Think of the stock market. I'm sad, I'm happy, I'm sad, I'm happy. And I gotta tell you, there's a lot of optimistic people out there. But there's some things that have changed. Credit requirements have been tightened up considerably, especially if you're on the investment side of buying a home. So if you're seriously thinking about buying a place, be sure to talk to your lender soon so you can find out where you stand. It's like I always say, it all starts with the money. It just does. The last few years here in Nashville, the market's been pretty hot. That's really not news. And inventory has been down a little bit, so competition is higher and naturally prices go up a little bit, but none of that crazy rocket ship stuff going on. Though to be honest, sometimes it really can feel that way. And the luxury market seems to be softening just a bit, but don't let that fool you, it's not that soft. Well, here's my point. For the first few weeks of the quarantine, it got eerily quiet as we all recalibrated. Trying to figure out what's going on. But as we all became accustomed to social distancing and virtual showings, people started coming out of their shells, so to speak. And now we're rolling again. Now, are we rolling at the same level as we were before? Uh, no, we got some catching up to do on that. But it's fairly predictable as people go back to work and dollars start to flow, the market's gonna be pretty energetic. Here's my take of the next few months. If the opening of America stays the course and there's no major setbacks, there's gonna be quite a surge in purchases. And by surge, I mean getting back to cruising speed like we were a few months ago. Zillow is reporting a two to 3% price drop by the end of the year. And that number, if accurate, is astonishing considering everything that we've gone through. But keep this in mind, there's gonna be changes. There's gonna be fewer qualified buyers because of lender changes, lockdowns, layoffs, things like that. And the home sellers that were hunkered down are going to start to come out of hiding. That means inventory is going to go up. But in our area, inventory was down 18 to 20 percent. So we've got a lot of work to do to catch up. What this all means is going to be a balance. Fewer buyers, more houses, balance. I believe that the market's going to remain stable for the foreseeable future. And if you're waiting to see if Zillow is correct with its two to 3% price drop before you do anything, just keep an eye out over the summer and see if we're getting any of those, there's trouble in paradise kind of messages. In the recent past, if you waited several months to buy a house, you could expect to pay a slightly higher price. This year, I think there's less risk of that happening unless something else dramatic happens. Do you feel that? If you've been able to keep working in some form or fashion, you've got reasonably strong credit, you got a few dollars tucked away, you should be in great shape. The single most important thing you can do for yourself is find a lender you can trust. Once you know where you stand financially, you can move forward with confidence. 
So let me answer the it depends question. If you've decided you want to move to a larger place, to a smaller place, to a closer to family place, to a whatever it may be place, and you're prepared financially, I'd be hard pressed to believe anything other than yes, it is a good time to buy a home. Be sure to watch one of my lender videos to get you on track. Remember to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified of new videos as they come along. Leave a comment and give me a like, will you? Talk to you soon.